Hello my friends, this is Regular Slasher and thank you for watching my videos as usual. Yeah. Today it's such quite a fine sunny day and might as well make a video about it. It's actually a holiday today, it means that I have more time to work on cleaning my sword parts. So I'm working on my habaki right here. So turns out that it requires patience and also the time that you have to spend with it. So you have to clean, rinse and repeat. Not not to rinse literally, but rinse and repeat. Apply apply some metal polish, rinse repeat. I mean that's my approach anyway, but that's on a different video perhaps but we all know that the world is already undergoing a global crisis particularly in this pandemic um thankfully that our government has relaxed its laws or its rules about coming to the dojo or places where people could gather for at least two to three people can already gather but for now the events like basketball like football cannot really be usable as of the moment but otherwise people can now play badminton so at least that's what I observed people can now play badminton because I assume that there has to be some some sort of a physical distancing between players so I think badminton is not bad so there in the case of Iaido however there is one important tip that I would like to share to you while while practicing on those techniques and observing proper protocols at the same time and that is called um, wearing masks yes and face shields all right so how do i maintain my yairo training while using um, face shield i think in my opinion a face shield is um, more than enough right protection or so that you won't be able to inflict others something like that while you also get to practice just like before the pre-pandemic times um, one tip that I'm offer to you is this I saw this face shield you can buy this about three pieces for about less than half a cent or half a dollar so three pieces about 50 cents at uh, your local thrift store or whatever and just wear this one I think there's new the moment you buy this for the first time you purchase I think there's a plastic lining over here so you can always um, detach that and begin your training in order for you to see for yourself a uh, clear vision and and even if you wear this face mask a uh, face shield you will be able to see clearly even if um, as if you're not wearing anything all right so there the beauty of this tool is that I know this is cheap but let me tell you only one I guess important aspect during Yaido training while using face shields is this all throughout the technique you are not to blink alright so because you are not allowed to blink all throughout the technique and there are so many environmental causes why people are caused to blink like this hmm. and then the moment you blink at any point given point of a technique 
it ruins the mood all right so i guess i'm um, not a guess that's my observation anyway so let me repeat that the moment you blink at any given point of a certain eido technique it ruins the entire mood all right it ruins the entire mood zanshin is lost and therefore i'm afraid you need to start back all over again in order to combat that and using this face shield right here it prevents the somehow the wind the upcoming uh, incoming wind and all the dust and all that it prevents them from entering into your eyes at the least or the nose and it prevents you from sneezing or what and it prevents you to um, it enables you to not blink at all times yeah so if you like you might want to think of this as some sort of a training wheel if you are happening to learn on how to ride a bicycle so training wheels for that and if it comes to EIDO training these face shields come in handy right yeah so apart from that the physical distancing aspects of Yaido training is already given there because obviously even without anyone telling you that you should practice physical distancing like three to four meters apart it's the blade will tell you so obviously you have to even before the pre-pandemic times um, people have to observe instinctively observe um, about three meters physical distance and that enables them to practice undisturbed and that's a good thing one thing about yaido training is that the spatial reasoning is there it's observed and that's what i that's what gets that what stuck that's what stuck all right in my mind and that yeah. one final thing though is that while i'm making this vlog i'm cleaning off some parts of the blade um as i've mentioned before it requires time and patience in fact last night last night i've worked on this spa couple of spacers on here so as you can see the difference so but it's far from over <laughs> but it's constant work i come to think of it that my work is never finished and it doesn't make me complacent and all that um even if i think it's already clean i think there are still some spots that i have to clean anyway so like that until i'm satisfied as in in all different aspects of life you are not supposed to be like satisfied or what um you like for example you enter into a dojo and you you storm your mind like you are a second dan so i'm supposed to be better than all these people out here fuck that because because it's just going to make you lazy anyway so the moment you find yourself entering the dojo it's like oh i am a second dan i'm greater than everybody else here up there i'm a third dan i'm i should be better than you i should be lining up in the convenience store first ahead of you because i'm best better than you on and on and on fuck that it's unacceptable um instead like adapt a mindset of constant learning like although personally here i yes it's a never-ending task of cleaning these parts but they had to do it anyway because nobody else is going to do it for me <laughs> So there, scrub, rinse, repeat, and I'm optimistic that this, that this is going to come to a shine. Not only that, alright, 
so before I go in circles so long story short we must not put ourselves in a complacent mind state and the moment we step into the dojo so only thing is that um, constant learning constant improvement and then regardless of what other people might say it's in the end it's all you it is all you and with that i hope i've given you some hint and it, ena it enables you to start from there and this is the end yeah. that's it my friends and if you like what you just saw don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and especially if you click the notification bell you'll be the very first person to know they have uploaded another video that contains information that could possibly help you in the future yeah. this is regular slasher signing off thank you much love and domo arigato gozaimashita yeah. Yeah. Uh,